I work for Alberta Environment and the government of Alberta has a very extensive monitoring program in this region. We have 11 sites strategically located that continuously monitor contaminants uh, in the Athabasca River and its tributaries. These ones here that you see collect a variety of different uh, metals from uh, mercury to arsenic uh, to the broad suite. One of the contaminants that's of primary concern are naphthenic acids. Uh, very specific to bitumen deposits and process affected waters and these are these are cutting edge leading edge technology for identifying those concentrations in surface waters and we get the full range through a day through a week through a month through the entire year what the pattern of, of natural contaminant loading is and any uh, additional contaminant loading that may be occurring from industry the mines are just right nearby here break this stuff off like this this is what they're after when they mine. This is oil sand and you can push your finger right into it as I'm doing here. It is very soft and it flows on a warm day into the river. And if you look over here you can see the impacts of this natural loading. You can see the oil on top of the water from the river basically in contact with the oil sands formation that comprises the banks of this river. The industry component of monitoring is a legal requirement as part of their approval conditions. And of course the companies have to take it very, very seriously because being out of compliance carries very stiff penalties. Companies implement groundwater monitoring, surface water monitoring and air monitoring, as well as other metrics used to describe impacts to the landscape. All of Tailings Ponds have some amount of seepage. That seepage is very slow and very low, however, it does occur. And so around those Tailings Ponds, we need to understand exactly what the seepages are and what those seepage rates are. And we have to make sure that the seepage collection systems that they put in are effective. If there were to be a spill or uh, some kind of upset that uh, put more naphthenic acids into the system, we would detect it on these and we would be able to determine that that had occurred. Fortunately, our results have shown that, uh, that there have been no uh, incidences in these systems and that uh, we're getting mostly background loading uh, from natural sources.